All right, folks, it's time for our third and final installment of our 2023 StatCast Awards. For this one, we're going to be focusing on offensive categories, both hitting and base running. For these awards, we're just taking StatCast data that's available on Baseball Savant and Fangraphs. Let's get to it. Let's start off with a classic, longest home runs. Coming in third place is Nolan Jones with his 483-foot bomb off of Logan Webb on June 7th. Coming in second is Giancarlo Stanton's 485-foot bomb off of Ross Stripling on April 2nd, only Stanton's second home run of the year. And in first place, of course, it's Shohei Otani with his 493-foot dinger off of Tommy Henry on June 30th. Next, let's look at fastest exit velocity for an individual at bat. Coming in third is Ellie De La Cruz with a 119.2 mile per hour exit velocity on September 26th. Coming in second is Giancarlo Stanton with a 119.5 exit velo, which hit off of pitcher Matt Manning on September 6th. And coming in first, it's MVP Ronald Acuna Jr. with a crazy 121.2 mile per hour exit velo on September 2nd off of Emmett Sheehan. Now let's look at average exit velocity for the entire season. Coming in third is Shohei Otani with a 94.4 average exit velo. Coming in second, it's Ronald Acuna Jr. with 94.7 miles per hour. And coming in first by a long shot, it's Aaron Judge with a 97.6 average exit velocity. In case you didn't already know, Aaron Judge annihilates baseballs. He led all MLB in 2023 in hard hit percentage, barrel percentage, average exit velocity, expected slugging, expected WOBA, and just for good measure, walk rate. My next award I'm calling the Pitch Destroyer Award. This award is going to players with the highest slugging percentage against one particular kind of pitch, with a minimum of 50 plate appearances ending with that pitch. The leader in slugging percentage against changeups is Jordan Alvarez with a 7-11 slug. The slugging leader against curveballs is Kyle Schwarber also with a 7-11 slug. Our leader against sliders is Nolan Jones with a 7-50 slug. Against two-seamers, it's Nolan Gorman with an 804 slug. Against four-seamers, it's Royce Lewis with an 821 slugging percentage. And our highest slugging percentage in MLB against one single pitch goes to Gunnar Henderson against cutters. Henderson slugged an insane 882 against cutters this year. Our next few awards are going to be for plate discipline. The first of the plate discipline awards is for players who have the lowest chase rate. In other words, the players with the lowest percentage of swings at pitches outside the strike zone. Tied for second place is Lamont Wade Jr. and Jack Sawinski, both at 17.6% chase rate. And our lowest chase rate in MLB this year goes to Juan Soto, who only swung at 17.2% of balls outside the strike zone. And the worst chase rate in all of MLB goes to Salvador Perez, who swung at an astounding 46.9% of all balls outside the strike zone, almost three times more than Juan Soto. Our next plate discipline award is going to the players with the highest overall contact percentage. This one's pretty simple. When they swing the bat, how often do they make contact? In third place, we have Nico Horner, who made contact on 88.6% of his swings this year. In second place, we have Stephen Kwan with a 90.3% contact rate. And leading all of MLB, no surprise here, it's Luis Arias with a 93.4% contact rate on his swings. And now let's give out our overall plate discipline award, which goes to Alex Bregman. Bregman finished 7th in MLB in chase percentage and 6th in MLB in contact percentage. Bregman is elite both in laying off bad pitches and putting the bat on the ball when he does swing. While Bregman didn't exactly have a career year this year, this did lead to good numbers. 28 doubles, 25 home runs, 98 RBI, and an 804 OPS, good for a 122 OPS+. And our final award in the hitting categories is called the No Doubter Award. Baseball Savant tracks every home run that was hit and tells you how many ballparks out of the 30 major league ballparks it would have been a home run in. A no doubter is a ball that would have gone out in all 30 parks. This award goes to Matt Olson, who hit 25 no doubters in 2023. 
No big surprise here, as Olsen led MLB with 54 ding-dongs this year. On the flip side of this, Baseball Savant also labels homers that they call doubters, which are home runs that only would have snuck out in between one and seven major league parks. Our leaders in doubters in 2023 are Mookie Betts and Adolis Garcia. Both Betts and Garcia hit 16 home runs that only would have gone out in one to seven parks. Now let's move on to some awards for base running. First, let's look at sprint speed. Baseball Savant tracks what they call competitive runs, which are basically plays in which the runner actually tries to run as fast as they can. For players with at least 50 competitive runs, who has the highest average sprint speed? For comparison's sake, 23 feet per second is considered poor, and 27 feet per second is about the league average. Tied for third place in sprint speed are Dyron Blanco and Trey Turner both sitting at 30.3 feet per second on their sprints. And tied for first place in sprint speed are Ellie De La Cruz and Bobby Witt Jr., both sitting at 30.5 feet per second. These guys can absolutely fly. And who's the slowest player in the league? That would be Yasmani Grandal, with an average of 22.8 feet per second on his sprints. That means that over the span of only three seconds, Bobby Witt Jr. and Ellie De La Cruz can travel about 24 more feet than Yasmani Grandal. Next, let's look at a cumulative stat that Baseball Savant calls runs added to give us an estimated probability of success for each running opportunity. Tied for second place in runs added are Bobby Witt Jr., Corbin Carroll, and Trey Turner, who all added an estimated five runs with their legs. And in first place, believe it or not, is Gunnar Henderson, with six total runs added with his legs. Turns out this Gunnar Henderson kid is pretty good at baseball. This next one really isn't a stat cast number, but I just thought it was a good one to add. Our stolen base percentage leader for 2023 is Trey Turner, who was a perfect 30 for 30 in stolen base attempts this year. And just for kicks, let's end with the one I know you're all dying to know, average home run trot time. We're gonna look at all players with at least 10 home runs. Our 2023 leader for fastest time rounding the bags on a home run is Brandon Nimmo. Nimmo doesn't waste any time with only 19.0 seconds on average for his 24 home runs. And our slowest home run trotter for the year goes to Randy Arozarena, who takes his sweet time rounding the bases with an average trot of 29.3 seconds, a full 10 seconds longer than Brandon Nimmo. Go ahead, Randy. Let him know who hit it. Let him know. If you enjoyed the video, do me a favor and hit those like and subscribe buttons. And once again, thanks for watching.